Kiara here from Gypsy Fae Creations. Welcome back. So a few videos ago I mentioned that I ordered something and I was really excited about it to come in the mail and I didn't want to tell you guys until I was ready to use it and I'm ready to use it. You want to see it? Because I did a thing. I finally just jumped and I bought one and it's like about time. <laughs> what? That's a gypsy cat. No. <laughs> She just saw a lot of laugh to land. No, but for real. Ta da! I bought a real mold, like five pound mold, after much researching and kind of telling myself that I was fine with what I had and just, it's, yeah, I'll explain it. I'll explain all about it. But I am ready to use this five pound mold. I'm going to make a large loaf of soap, and not just any loaf of soap because I'm just gonna go crazy. I'm, I've got this crazy intricate soap that I wanna make for the first time I ever use this mold, so just call me crazy. I am going to do a rainbow soap. Now, plenty of other soapers have done this, and Vanessa over at Moonfern Studios, when we were trying to think of ideas of different soaps to use, she was like, let's do one with seven colors in it. I'm like, no, that sounds like a mess. That sounds like too much work. I'm not gonna have fun with that. But I saw this other mold, and I'll show it to you guys, and it reminded me of Rainbow Bright. And like little shooting stars in it, and she has this little logo on her belt, and I thought, there's a fandom soap. I can do a rainbow soap, and it's an excuse to do a fandom soap. So let's see what this mold is like, and how it goes, and if I can achieve the rainbow soap. <laughs> let's get started. with me pouring my lye water and sodium lactate solution into my bucket of oils and then pouring it into my mold and I'm not doing that on this one I'm, I'm going to switch it up a little bit because I want to make straight even layers all right so there's going to be lots of measuring in this I am only doing six colors of the rainbow I know there's seven but I don't really care about the difference between indigo and purple or violet or whatever. I'm just doing purple. <laughs> so making it a little more easier on myself, I am doing six. So I've weighed out my oils. I've weighed out my lye solution. And I'm going to separately pour in each layer and color and then pour and so on. And hopefully I've done my math right. Uh, there's gonna be lots of fast forwarding and like me pouring and crossing my fingers and stuff like that. I'm also working with a newer soap um, recipe, so I'm just a glutton for punishment. All right, so there's the oil. And then I wanna measure out my lye solution. Push the right button, Tierra. I'm doing this backwards for you guys, I'll have you know. All right, so let's pour in the lye into this one. I'm really doing my best here to get accurate measurements. All right, that looks good there. Let me think about this. I had to double check my math, okay. And then I'm going to show you the colors I'm working with. And, and typically there's like two different ways you can start this whole rainbow pattern with like, you know, the red on the bottom or the red on the top or whatever. I think I, think I want to do the red on top. So I'm going to start with the purple. And I'm just going to show you all the colors I'm using. So I've got this ultraviolet mica here. I'm going to be using some sunshine yellow some mango tango, really red mica. These are all from Nurture. I got some green vibrance, and then I've got some tidal wave. Six, I had, to, I had to count here, and then hopefully I can get the order of the rainbow right. All right, so I'm going to combine these oils and 
combine this lye solution and mix that up. I'm making a mess with this purple over here. I'm not quite sure why that's coming out of there like that. The lid's not on it, right? Mess, mess, mess. Okay, yep, mess everywhere. It's only the beginning. That looks good. With a bigger soap mold comes the fact that I need a bigger soap table. Definitely. Okay. Well, let's put in the purple. It so eagerly wants to come out of the container anyway. Let's pour in the fragrance measure out each one of those as well. Long button, again, winning. So the fragrance I chose for this is called Unicorn Poop. I don't know, I thought maybe if a rainbow smelled, that's what it would smell like. It's like very sweet, raspberry, strawberry. It reminds me of my childhood. It is very good though, I promise. And, but it is, it is overly sweet, I've gotta say. But if rainbow bright smell, this is what she would smell like. All right, so I'm going to measure out the fragrance. And very slowly do that. This also has some vanilla in it. That's good, I, th I think that's good. So there is some color, vanilla color stabilizer in here. All right, Let's set everything to the side here. This is going to be such a mess. This is why I don't want to do rainbow soap. And then I'll mix this up. So now to pour this in. And the reason why, again, I'm doing this in separate batches is because I don't want my batter to get too thick before I get all of my layers in and even. Pour it into our mold. They're going to be very thin layers of rainbow. And I don't think this purple is going to stay like this. I think it's just because it's going to morph that's all i think it will eventually go back to a pretty purple so no worries if not i mean it's still purple i just took all the colors i had that i thought would be perfect for the rainbow <laughs> not that i have like all kinds of color micas but all right so this is in and i'm going to try to get this to even out I might tap this down on the ground to make sure that layer is even. And then I'll go on to the next layer once this one has set up enough. All right, let's just keep going here. Definitely gonna speed some of this up. guys this is the last color of my rainbow soap and I gotta say there's a reason why I don't like doing rainbow soaps before I even had ever made one I don't like it <laughs> that was so much work and there's gonna be so many dishes that this is probably going to be a limited 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 edition soap actually there is no offense or buts about that I, I 
don't like doing this, guys. It was so much work. Hopefully everything looks good though, you know. Did my best. I hope my colors don't turn out looking like poop. I hope my layers are all straight. I hope I can cut into these star embeds. I know I'm wishing for a lot, aren't I? Okay. So now that this is all done, I want to put a top on here because I got these cool little embeds that look like shooting stars. Not quite what Rainbow Bright's little belt looks like, but it's close enough. So let me go get my icing together and finish scraping this out and I will bring you back for that. All right, I think I'm ready to pipe now. I've got this like banana pudding looking icing top soap here and I'm just going to put dollops on here. I kind of was thinking clouds and then I was like, no, I don't know what I want. This is like a sunshine looking color instead. So let me tell you a little about this whole mold. After soaping for a year in those two small ones, which is perfectly fine, I'm still going to use those. You're going to see them in future videos. But I thought it was time to upgrade. You know, welcome to the real soap making business mold. But it's kind of like buying a car. And then when I said that, that was incorrect. <laughs> because when you go buy a car, you get to test drive it. You get to sit in it, you get to try it out, you get to decide what specs that you want it to have. And with a soap, soap mold, not really. You just cut, you can read the reviews, but you just gotta buy it. And I, I just was so unsure about what to go with. I did want a mold that would be easy to get the, the like loaf out of so like these sides come up and so that was a plus. Um, I wanted I wanted it to be a five pound mold. I wanted to make as many bars as the last ones did. Um, the the price was a big a big um, consideration for it. I didn't want to spend like a hundred dollars on it. I wanted something under that. So this was from Nurture and they have it on sale because the silicone mold that comes in it, the liner, is not exactly the right fit. And they gave you that um, disclaimer on it in the description when I bought it. And I was fine with that because eventually they're trying to find a new supplier. So this mold's a little thick. I've totally screwed up my icing here. <laughs> trying to talk and pipe and I am just not good at it, I guess. Plus, I'm like trying to revert back to how I was putting icing on the last soap. And I have more room to play with here. So that's something I gotta work on. And yeah. All right, so yeah, the the lining on this isn't 100% what I wanted. I can't get 18 one inch bars out of this. I'm going to get 17 one inch bars and then I'm going to get that little end piece there. All right, and I don't think I did very good on measuring out my icing here, as you can see. We're, we're a little short. So I might just change plans here. I'm not sure if I might just play around with this. All right. Let me get a spoon. I think I'm going to do that. Ow. 
No! Rescue me! Help! <laughs> I am... I am not doing so well on the top of the soap. <laughs> Why not? Well, I don't think I have enough icing, so I need to, oh, I need to up the, the measurements on the icing game here. Okay. Um, what can I do? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> you make Advise me? <laughs> sure, yeah. I'm just gonna take a spoon to it. Alright. I mean, I don't think it's gonna look good with, with that on there. Maybe. What's wrong with it? Before you do It's that, all uneven! Yeah, it's all plop all over the place. That's the I don't like it. Alright, then you change it. You're the artist. Right? I don't like it, and it's not, it's starting hard not to. Um, take care of it. No. You have to go in there, yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna make it. Nice. I'm just gonna change it up a little bit. I see him. I see the dog. Can you get him? He's a mess. <laughs> He's just gonna run into things. Yeah. You don't need to be in here, Luke. Come on, buddy. He's like, but I had fans. <laughs> People know me. I'm famous. That's right. I'm just gonna put it on side thing. Yeah, I think I think I like the look of it like this. Mm-hmm. I like that too. We're, plus you're putting the shooting stars. On there as well. Yeah. Is there another layer going on top of this? No. No. Okay. Should there be? No. I just I was curious. No, I ran out of soap. <laughs> I just said that. I didn't have enough for the top of it. Uh, you have no soap. Th this is it. That's the end. All right. And I'm sitting here trying to describe what I was looking for in a soap mold, and I'm just doing miserably at it. Hmm. So, whatever. <laughs> And I don't care what order these go in either. I was thinking I was going to put them in the order of the rainbow, but at this point, I don't care. I'm so over this. I'm over the rainbow soap. You're over the rainbow. I'm so over it. It was so much work. So much work. You're creating shadows, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I thought you were a cameraman. <laughs> I think I need you to stain this, maybe? Sure. Yeah. I think that's what's supposed to happen on here. Okay. Please. Before I make too much of a mess with it. I hear you. We can always sand it back down. Yeah, we might need to do that. <laughs> I, made a, I made an awful mess on it. It's okay. Alright. In the end, I think it'll be okay. It's, beyond okay. it's going it's to make nice. a pretty soap in the end, even though the top didn't quite go as planned. Alright. Yay! That's wonderful. Alright, and then I've got some sparkly, eco friendly, galactic, space, galaxy, rainbow, I don't know. It's like some crazy name. <laughs> It's from Brambleberry. It is Eco Glitter Rainbow something. I don't know. It's a mouthful, but it's pretty. It just said rainbow in it, so it only makes sense to put it on the rainbow soap. All right, I'm done. I need a break. Do I get to do the spray? Go ahead, Bradley. You want to spray? This is not water, right? No, it's the isopropyl alcohol. Go ahead. How far away should I stand? Doesn't matter. Wait. You actually want to get the soap though, and not like. Everything else. There. Oh, yay! Bradley helps. Yay! Most well, for me. <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Now side. you want to do all the dishes? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then I'm gonna let this sit for probably 24 or 48 Ooh. hours. I don't know. It depends on how well this comes out of the mold. So, I will be crossing my fingers and toes and everything else in the hopes that this comes out as as I dreamed it to be. Everything I dreamed it to be. Okay, time to cut this. Am I happy with it? I'm happy with the layers. I'm happy with the color that the icing came out. It did not come out 
the yellow <laughs> that I thought it was going to and it actually turned the white and look at the star in there look how awesome is that 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 star is perfect the purple is a little funky it didn't turn out the bright purple that I wanted but it is what it is as for this mold I am a little disappointed on how short the soap is it's wider but it's very short it is a lot shorter than my other soap molds were but I'm gonna work with it maybe if I put taller icing on it or something it'll look nicer I'm gonna give it a chance it's my own fault <laughs> No, really, it is so hard trying to buy a soap mold without being able to see it and look at it. But I'm liking these layers. Do I ever want to make a rainbow soap again? Absolutely not. Never want to do it again. It's just so much work, so many dishes, so much mess. Anyway, I'm going to keep cutting a few of these, and I wanted to share with you guys something that the mother-in-law gave me. She is a great person to take to a Goodwill or like a consignment shop. She's really big into going to different like boutiques and I don't know. I don't even know what the word I'm looking for, but she's a Goodwill yard sale Salvation Army type person and she will find the coolest deal. She actually does a lot of selling on um, eBay. So anyway, she is she's been collecting things, uh, baby things, because Brad and I are married. We are at that age where grandkids, they are on the agenda. And she's been collecting all kinds of things for us in the hopes that sooner rather than later, we we're going to be able to use them. But since she's collected them all, she's moving. His parents are moving from a about 4,000 square foot house to a like 1,200 square foot, square foot condo. So they don't have anywhere to put any of this stuff. So they had to give it to us now, which is really weird to me because we don't have kids and I have enough stuff to put in a nursery. But um, it's really cool all the stuff she gave us. There's a huge collection of books and stuff out, stuffed animals and clothes and everything that that I'm into as far as if we had kids how how they would dress and like and and read and do we have enough books to last our kids a lifetime <laughs> but I wanted to share that with you because I found a, a clever little thing in this pile so anyway um, I'll just keep cutting these I th whoops I think they turned out really neat let's get an up close look at that I'm loving the star in bed in there super neat the layers they're okay they're not perfect but you know for the first time doing a rainbow soap I dig it and I want to show you guys these books there are just piles and piles of these little golden books like the stacks are huge we've got some Dr. Seuss books we've got some Berenstein Bears look aren't these cute she knows I love foxes and the little outfit that goes along with it. Maybe one day I'll be able to use it. We got some stuffed animals in here. Yeah, we are set. But the cool thing I found in this pile of little golden books is a Rainbow Bright book. How awesome is that? That is the coolest find. So, perfect timing. I can show you guys a little belt. That is what I was going for. And her whole outfit. Yay. But I'll keep cutting more of the soap. And that's weird. Rabbit is next. Okay. That's just creepy. <laughs> Let's cut more of the soap. If you guys are interested in purchasing this limited edition rainbow soap, I will have it in the Etsy shop on August 4th. Alongside other soaps that you might have seen, like the snowball soap um, big release on August 4th so mark your calendars thanks for watching guys thanks for tuning in um, I know this video was a lot <laughs> I agree the soap was a lot but I appreciate everyone for watching if you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up 
If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. I will leave links to everything that I used and the link to the Etsy store also. Um, anyway guys, smile you later.